over 1,000 changes. This is the formula that Elon Musk and SpaceX have applied for over a year since Flight 1. After three flights, Starship is becoming more and more stable, but the SpaceX teams will certainly never be satisfied with just that. Even with the recent Flight 4, we still see many notable problems. That's when Elon Musk revealed a lot of massive changes in the next prototype. So, how will Starship change in the upcoming flights? What can we expect from these changes? Let's dive into these questions in today's episode of Great SpaceX. Before discussing the problems that need to be solved, we must recognize the achievements that Flight 4 has brought. With the successful landing of both the Super Heavy Booster and the Starship, it became the first rocket to land all of its launched hardware. This achievement is the result of many efforts from this flight. Firstly, the vehicle operated stably and reached important milestones even though one engine failed right after leaving the launch pad. This is a clear instance of demonstrating redundancy. Having 33 rockets sure does help, especially when one goes out. Secondly, the remaining engines performed extremely reliably during both on and off operations. Thirdly, the hot staging ring continued to be effective in the separation process, smoothly detaching from the booster, despite this being its first time in use. Additionally, the grid fin and landing engine systems worked well, allowing the booster to land safely in the ocean. In space, the heat shields performed better than before, helping the Starship survive the harsh re-entry process. At the launch pad, after many upgrades, the systems continued to operate stably, with no major problems recorded. Okay, those are the great strides that SpaceX achieved with Starship in Flight 4. I hope they will continue to maintain those capabilities in the upcoming flights, but we can still expect future flights to be even better if SpaceX can fix the problems that appeared in the last flight. So, what will SpaceX need to upgrade? To answer that question, we first need to point out the problems in Flight 4. As I mentioned, one of the 33 engines did not light up after liftoff, although the subsequent steps went smoothly, suggesting that the impact of this problem was not too significant, SpaceX probably shouldn't be complacent. The engine that failed in the recent flight was in the outer ring, which only works in the beginning, so it didn't affect much, but what if that failure occurs in the middle or inner engines, which have more influence on later stages? If engine issues are a common problem for the Super Heavy, the heat shield is the biggest challenge for the Starship. Even though the heat shield performed well on this flight, it may not have reached its highest reliability. Many heat shield tiles fell off during flight and were picked up by civilians. This issue compromised the rocket's safety, as evidenced by the flap being burned and severely damaged during re-entry. With these issues in mind, we can outline the changes SpaceX needs to implement moving forward. Firstly, on the Starship, SpaceX will definitely continue to focus on improving the heat shield system. This was confirmed by Elon Musk on X when he responded to Everyday Astronaut's tweet about the heat shield. Not a difficult prediction, we will have this nailed for the next flight. Clearly, the issue with the fallen heat shield indicates that the connection of the tiles to the Starship requires an upgrade. SpaceX may opt to change the attachment pins system to securely hold the heat shield in place. Additionally, the layout of the heat shield needs to be modified to provide more comprehensive protection, particularly for parts like the flap as seen in the recent flight. Furthermore, SpaceX should re-evaluate the materials used for the tiles. In images of the recovered heat shield after the flight, we observe instances of breakage and melting. It's understandable given that the vehicle must withstand temperatures exceeding 1500 degrees Celsius during re-entry. While Starship's heat shield is in better condition compared to NASA's Orion, SpaceX's goal is complete vehicle reuse, including the heat shield. Hence, they must enhance its capabilities to minimize damage, facilitating quick refurbishment for immediate use in subsequent flights. In addition to upgrading the protection system, internal hardware also requires enhancements to prevent issues, like those with the recent flap. Elon Musk mentioned in a tweet about the heat shield, Note a newer version of Starship has the forward flaps shifted leeward. This will help improve reliability, ease of manufacturing, and payload to orbit. With this upgrade, the flap will be shifted further towards the side without the heat shield system. This adjustment ensures that the connection point between the flap and Starship is more carefully concealed. 
minimizing direct exposure to the immense energy from re-entry. This enhancement significantly increases reliability and by reducing the impact of re-entry, SpaceX can simplify the flap attachments, streamlining production while maintaining flexibility during ship navigation for landing. Another system slated for upgrade on the Starship is the addition of roll control thrusters and other hardware. This enhancement will assist SpaceX in better controlling the landing process and attitude, mitigating issues such as valve clogging that occurred in Flight 3. SpaceX has indicated that they have implemented this upgrade since S-29, and after the success of Flight 4, it's likely they will continue to incorporate and refine this enhancement in subsequent prototypes. Regarding the booster, SpaceX will need to continue improving its engines. In previous upgrades, SpaceX focused on eliminating or simplifying complex and vulnerable parts such as wires and nozzles, resulting in better engine performance after each flight. However, it seems that the necessary reliability has not yet been achieved and SpaceX will need to further strengthen its engine improvements. As we all know, engine enhancement is an ongoing process that applies not only to a particular version, but also to the entire Raptor engine system. From Raptor 1 to Raptor 2 and eventually Raptor 3, small details will gradually diminish, and some may even be eliminated, simplified, or integrated with each other. These optimizations will significantly reduce operational risks, decrease repair and production time, and continue to increase the engine's power. Also concerning the engine issue, SpaceX needs to upgrade the systems within the vehicle. Specifically addressing the problem from Flight 3, SpaceX stated that the failure of the B-10 engines resulted from a blockage filter in the liquid oxygen path from the fuel tank to the engine, leading to a loss of inlet pressure in the oxygen turbo pump engine. SpaceX has upgraded the fuel filtration inside the liquid oxygen tank to address this issue, starting from the B-11 and subsequent prototypes. To enhance reliability, particularly in light of the recent engine failure on the B-11, they will continue to closely monitor and further strengthen these upgrades. Regarding hot staging, we can anticipate a new design for the staging ring in upcoming flights. While hot staging was not problematic in the recent flight, it still requires modification. SpaceX aims for a lighter, simpler, and more efficient ring design. This was evident in the separation of the hot staging from the booster during the last flight to reduce the mass of the B-11. However, such separation will be unnecessary once SpaceX implements a new hot staging design. Many eagerly anticipated upgrades, aren't there? Each enhancement sets the stage for SpaceX and Starship to achieve their future goals. Following successful two-stage landings in the ocean, SpaceX will now set its sights on landing using the Mechazilla arm, starting from Flight 5, beginning with the Super Heavy B-12. With comprehensive upgrades planned for the engine and hot staging, coupled with the proven landing ability demonstrated in the recent flight, SpaceX is incredibly determined to validate the effectiveness of this new landing method, an accomplishment no organization has achieved before. In Flight 5, the S-30 will once again splash down into the ocean. The promised upgrades to the heat shield and flap will significantly increase the S-30's chances of surviving re-entry intact. This will serve as the foundation for SpaceX to achieve full reuse of their massive rocket for the first time with the Mechazilla arm in Flight 6. The challenge will escalate as Chopstick will need to retrieve the Starship from orbit a task made possible by the aforementioned upgrades, which will be crucial for SpaceX to accomplish. Once the rocket's landing is assured, SpaceX will set its sights on venturing even farther into space. Whether it's the Moon, Mars, or any other celestial body, the heat shield, engine, and flap will all play pivotal roles in these endeavors. Ahead lies a challenging journey for the SpaceX teams, through testing, problem solving, and implementing massive changes, SpaceX has achieved remarkable success over the years. This same formula will continue to guide them as they pave the way for humanity's interplanetary existence. Well folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.